European colonizers and traders invaded and enslaved West and Central Africans, removing them from their homes. Systems of power allowed oppressors to maintain their dominance. The enslaved people in Brazil were not allowed to practice their rites and rituals. However, they were allowed to engage in music and dance. This aided them in disguising their practices of covert resistance. The art form which evolved included music, dance, acrobatics, and divine strength, known as capoeira. Once those in power realized what capoeira was and how it was being used, they made it illegal and persecuted all those who practiced. Finally, in 1937, capoeira was legalized by the Vargas government, recognizing it as a component of Brazilian cultural identity. The Brazilian federal government began to promote capoeira as what it is known as today, which is an amalgamation of dance, fight, play and practice with musical instruments. Within the contemporary context, it pays homage and acknowledges duality, considering it an Afro-Brazilian martial art. Soon after, capoeira spread to other countries and became a sport played worldwide. Capoeira has different forms, such as Angola, Contemporanea, and Regional. Each style has its own distinct elements and focus. Capoeira is a manifestation of history within its movements. Movement styles such as Jenga and Malicia are rooted in the enslaved people's needs to protect themselves physically through their wits. The Hada is a circle of support created by participants in the middle of which two players perform the game of Capoeira. This protective circle controls the pace of movement within and maintains positive energy. Janelle Joseph, an academic scholar who has done a lot of research on the art of capoeira, describes the Hoda as a space that embodies performance of social freedom. Music is an integral part of capoeira. Professor Soketch from Kadara Capoeira in Toronto elaborates on it's this concept. The beginning and the ending, it is everything for capoeira. Right. Um, it's said that capoeira had to disguise the training of combative techniques in a dance in a way that it would not appear to the oppressors that they were practicing anything that would help them to resist. The essential instruments include the berimbau, the pandeiro and the bateria. The berimbau is a single string percussion. The pandeiro is a hand frame drum. The bateria are drum sets. Outside of Brazil, capoeira has been able to maintain its history, culture and heritage while also contributing to community engagement and creating a sense of inclusivity. To have a meaningful understanding of capoeira, one must grasp its historical relevance. Brazilian Portuguese is used in capoeira as songs, describing the struggles and aspirations of the enslaved people. The language recounts a variety of movements and positions of those who participate. This preservation of language reflects capoeira's desire to maintain its roots while resisting external influences. Capoeira classes outside of Brazil are affiliated with schools within. The arrival of mestres is a significant event for capoeira groups, representing the importance of a connection to the homeland. This shows how integral Brazil is in the practice of capoeira regardless of where it is performed. Regardless of their background, people can participate in capoeira. It accepts everyone and serves as a learning experience. Members of society obtain the opportunity to empathize with and understand the issues faced by immigrants and minority groups. Despite the equal distribution of men and women throughout the settings of capoeira, this ratio is not necessarily reflected in the power dynamics. Though capoeira is seen to be a sign of equality, it can also perpetuate patriarchal notions. Capoeira has a strong educational aspect, promoting long-term affiliation and social inclusion. This allows for empowerment through care, while also focusing on the well-being of each individual. Two main philosophies of capoeira are key in physical and psychological growth. Levanta teaches skills of humility and resilience, while Conversa encourages initiative and 
cooperation. These skills are empowering and help one face life's challenges. Through the presence of inclusive capoeira programs, socially restrictive boundaries and the understandings of autonomy are redefined for participants with disabilities. Systemic alienation and discrimination faced by marginalized youth and those with disabilities allows them to identify with the foundation of the sport. Youth who have lower levels of education and socioeconomic status receive little support or encouragement from their communities. Capoeira can be a safe space for them to express their energy and emotion in a way that creates a positive balance between the body and mind. Janelle Joseph conducted a study where capoeira was used as a rehabilitation program. The mindfulness approach was applied to shift the thinking and behavior patterns of young offenders with the intention of acquiring new skills. They would not only develop new physical skills, but also self-efficacy and pro-social skills, resulting in more positive perceptions of life outside the sport. Capoeira is organized within an extended family context, allowing for the development of close and meaningful relationships. This activity enriches experiences and helps with the process of rehabilitation within an inclusive environment. Capoeira is a sport that explores its past of resistance and resilience to not only create awareness of its existence, but also uses the valuable knowledge gained to advocate for the rights of those who are marginalized. The future of capoeira is going towards forms of empowerment, inclusion and preservation of its roots within the contemporary social environment. Capoeira is one of those sports that is constantly growing, expanding and responding to the driving pressures of modern society.